So I'm going to show a video of AquaConnect Terminal Server in action. What we're going to do is connect using Remote Desktop Connection, which is a client made by Microsoft uh, for the Mac platform. And um, what we're going to do is just enter in the IP address of the server we want to connect to. Hit Connect. We're going to be asked for our credentials uh, from RDC. I'm going to go ahead and connect without them. Now we got the Mac OS X login window. I'm going to go and put in the credentials. Now this is a demo server that we're connecting to that we have in-house for testing as well. It's a Mac mini server, so it doesn't really hold too many connections. But the average um, server maxed out with RAM should be able to hold around 200, 250 sessions easily. So this is our Mac OS X desktop. And in addition to that, I'm going to show you the uh, admin tool that we offer. It's in the server folder within applications called the AC Admin Tool. In order to connect, I'm going to type in the host name. So since we're opening this up in a Aqua Connect session, we will just need to type localhost. This tool can also be used remotely if uh, chosen. Enter in our credentials. And basically, this shows all the sessions that are connected to that server or the users and their sessions, the login time, connection time, IP address, what protocol, and if they have any devices connected, or if there are any drivers for devices on the local machine. And then you can terminate the session on the fly. You can change their CPU priority. Moving on, there's a list of all the users that either we created locally or are showing up due to the fact that the server is bound to directory services, so anything like Active Directory or Open Directory. We can also do an audit of what the users have been doing on the, on the system. It's currently turned off on this Mac Mini server, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what the interface looks like. Basically, it'll list all the applications that have been launched, what time they were launched, and so on and so forth. In addition, you could do CPU prioritization based on a user level. You can allow clipboard or um, disable it, enable or disable local printing, things of that nature. Under the admin tool, this is essentially just the administrators that are created and are enabled to launch this administrator uh, tool, not those that can actually do uh, administrating of the server itself. In addition, there's an, a terminal tab which uh, gives you all the options on the settings that you can adjust for the different protocols that you're using. Aqua Connect supports three different protocols, RDP, VNC, and X11. By default, all are installed. However, RDP is only the required protocol or backend piece that needs to be installed. VNC and X11 are options, and during the installation process, you can choose not to install them if you'd like. So here you see a list of all the different options and settings that you can adjust for the RDP protocol and basically uh, enable or disable sound system wide, bitmap caching, packet compression, uh, keyboard shortcuts, color compression, that sort of thing. And then just as a quick glance, these are the different options that we offer for the other protocols as well. In addition, you can also change the port numbers, which may be useful. On the server tab, you see the license key. And then group filters basically enables you to filter out uh, groups of users that you want to enable access to Aqua Connect Terminal Server. These groups can either be groups that you've created locally through um, Work Group Manager or that show up due to the fact that the server is bound to directory services and there are groups that way. So you can authenticate through directory services if you choose to. So that's Aqua Connect.